House of Worship, um, another market that does require projection quite a lot. Um, this goes back to what we were thinking about with education as well, which is you will have multiple screen needs from time to time because some of these auditoriums, some of these larger churches, newer ones and legacy churches, have pretty broad seating arrangements. So a central screen that um, would be the main focus of the program or main focus of the disp display could be electric, for example. And then off in the corners, you can have tucked away fixed frame screens. So people that are seated up towards the front or off at strange angles could still be able to see the same thing that everyone else is. So it's training your brain to think about how do I accommodate for where everyone is sitting in the room without there being strange angles. A great thing to pick up from Infocom that they publish in their standards is if you look right here at the center point, about 45 degrees off axis is where you want your maximum viewer to sit. Yes, screens can produce angles that are way out here, but if I have an 80, 80 degree half angle screen, like an 80 or a 90, would I ever want to sit right here and look at the screen? No, it's very uncomfortable. So usually that 45 degree angle, something like about like this, is pretty good in terms of your AV design, making sure that everyone has that comfort level when they're sitting down and viewing the screen. 